Today's topic is a general trace, probably one of the better traces to fish if you want to target mid-sized fish from sharks, skates and cob, bigger edibles like that will take this particular trace. Um, the sharks won't bite you off, the shad won't bite you off, um, hammers, greys coming around when you're fishing a, a, a nice size bait for a cob or any of those edible fish, Stumpy will pick this up a good chance of an edible fish taking this trace and not dropping your bait. Now for those reasons I call this probably the best general mid-sized fish trace that you can use on the South African coastline. Okay now this particular trace is done with a circle hook. I'm going to show you today to fish it with a dangle uh, but you can also use a J-hook. The same size, a 7060 J-hook will do exactly the same for you. That's the size hook you're going to use to target those fish. And I'm referring to the Ring Soy 7060, which is a nice size you can also catch a stumpy on or a, from a two kilo kingy, uh, two kilo edibles up. We'll pick up that hook, we'll be able to swallow it and you'll be able to hook it. And they won't drop it. However, when a, when a shark, like a grey shark or a hammer comes around, they'll still pick it up as well. Okay guys, now this is specifically the trace I will use for targeting hammer heads, those smaller hammers, up to 20-30 kilos and uh, grey sharks up to 20-30 kilos in our, on our coastline majority of them are under 10 kilos and every now and again you get a 20 kilo or so uh, especially in the summer months now with the first day of west but there's a good chance of edibles being in the area this is the trace I'll also use because I know edible will pick it up now what makes the difference is the American Fishing Wire Surflon Micro Supreme, the 7x7 we refer to. It's a 90 pound uh, coated steel wire, but it's so soft. What makes this unique, yes, it's pricey. Don't get a fright when you guys see the price, but you don't use a lot of it. And it really, it's proven over and over again that uh, a cob won't spit you out like it would with normal steel, with piano wire or nylon coated or carbon coated steel. This is just so flexible, it's got all the movement if you want to fish a longer bite trace, a shorter bite trace, it really leaves that and when they pick it up they can't feel it steel. So that makes, that's the differentiating factor of this particular trace, why it's suitable for both non-edibles and edibles in that 30 kilos and less um, size class. Alright, so I'm going to start just tying a circle loop. And... Uh, I'm using the 7.0 which in my opinion is a nice general size. You can still use the 6.0 as well but the 7.0 circle has got a nice gape. When you switch to the J-hook, the ring soy, I will go with the 6.0, even a 5.0 which allows you to catch, catch uh, smaller edibles as well. So for this particular trace I'm going to use, a, I'm going to snow the hook, alright. So always from the front to the back leave a little tag and then look where the gap is on the hook all right I'm going to twist it to the opposite side and a minimum of six times I like to do seven to eight okay and then from the back to the front again all right now you saw how long I cut that piece and that's what's left now you can give this a proper tug and then you can melt it with a lighter to make sure it doesn't unravel because it's such a soft supple cable um, it's not like the other cables that will hold its position as well as what what they do this one might lift up a little bit it won't come loose but if it gives you peace of mind just melt it a little that tag in the back I always bend up and that keeps it nice and tight together for me as well and then I'll just clip that tag off all right and then to tie the bite trace I'm using Maxima 0.75 it's a nice general diameter line for me for fishing for edibles non-eds the smaller non-eds and all of that <coughs> now you can vary this this is a very short one I like using a short one out of habit all right which will protect it against shad bigger shad gray shark uh, and hammer heads this will suffice but you can add another you can make it double that length if it will give you peace of mind also obviously when it's this short it's a bit more difficult to tie and if you mess up the the Albright I'm going to use the improved Albright knot 
then you don't have more, you have to retie everything, you don't have enough left to actually uh, clip off and redo the knot. Okay, so improved Albright, you put it through the loop there and you wind it. Three times over and three times back on itself. And then why they call it the improved Albright and the older the, the original Albright, this tag will go to the opposite direction of what that what it came in. It's not a strong knot. If you take it to the same in the exact same direction you took it in, you take it out again, it makes it a much stronger knot. And then very important with the Albright, you only pull the long ends. It takes practice this knot. And on this particular cable or so, of quite a few cables I just help it on with my thumb and my index finger you pull it nice and tight until you can see it's packed up nicely there very neat knot and then you take the monofilament tag in and you give that a nice strong pull until it pulls tight there and that knot will not break but it will not break if you do it right important to only pull the long tight ends until it's very tight before you pull the tag if you pull the tag too early this knot is not gonna gonna work let's cut the tag ends off guys now that's very simple nice little movement length and then sure it's probably the main swivel i use i don't hardly use single swivels anymore it's the combination power swivels this is a three by four size and what that does it just instead of the the three-way swivels we used to use it now gives you your sinker swivel that is free swinging with nice movement all right and then big one to the top that's going to go to your leader smaller one to your hook link hook snoot and there I just use a figure of eight okay so I go over the index finger once back to the swivel twice then I remove both those and away from the swivel through both loops forms a figure of eight that you pull tight just a little bit on the tag so it can still move nicely pull it tight onto the swivel and then grab the tag in and secure the knot up the tag then depending if this reef around first thing you'll do is you'll go on to a lighter single line which will be a 0.60 in my in my preference if you're fishing just sand no need to do that and uh, you can use the exact same diameter also a figure of eight Just something I didn't mention. If you're going to use a J-hook, you don't have to do this knot. You do a normal figure of eight to your J-hook. Enough for my sinker to clip, so I can cast it for distance. So, just important while, while on that subject. If I hold this, you see I make it quite a bit longer. For the simple reason, I want enough space for a dangle, whatever size dangle I'm going to put on. And the sink must still lift up to you, so this, there's no strain on this line. So when it hits the water, it comes off easy. It's so horrible when you, when you make it too short, and you put out a cast, and you stand there for half an hour, and oaks are getting bites next to you, you're not getting a bite, you reel in, and you see that it never unclipped. Make sure there's enough uh, length on your sinker line that that wouldn't happen. Now the Kingfisher sinker clips, something everyone should have in their box by now all right and you tie that to that section pull that tight clip the tag let's grab a sinker here then you take, this is nice to pack in your bag now, exactly like that, roll it up nicely, it's in your bag whenever you want to use it. And this clip allows you to change your weight size or whatever weight you're using. 
you, you're casting a five ounce cone sinker, it starts washing, you want to change to a seven ounce, it's very quick, you unclip, you clip the, the five off the seven ounce, or you can uh, change it to a grapnel sinker. Now, this obviously, when it's got a dangle on, it will hang here with another ring for this to hook on. And on a J hook, if you're going to fish the bait on your hook, it will just clip straight to the, the hook. It helps when it's hanging off a rod. Eh? And that's how you're going to cast. On a J-hook, the bait will sit here. The dangle with your bait will sit under the hook like this, and the sinker will hang further down. And that's the general trace. You see that length? I like that. It's a little over 10 centimeters, probably 12. And that's the length I prefer. Now, you, to this trace, you can add a little Yamashita skirt for color, the chartreuse pink, or even the see-through, that nice little pool color, um, to just attract it, especially when your water is clean. In dirty water, the pink one, the green or chartreuse and the, and the other colors in your cleaner water. That pink, pink one work, works in clean water as well, but I prefer it in, in a slightly off-color dirty water. And that's the general trace, guys, that will catch your edibles. And all your smaller sharks, you won't have, you're not going to stand there worrying about getting bitten off by a shark when you're fishing for something else. So for a general, general trace, targeting nice size edibles and your smaller sharks, your skates, rays, this is the best to use. The secret of this trace is 7x7 seven because seven, the edible fish will not feel this and spit your bait. Thank you for watching guys and let us know in the comments if there's um, additional stuff you want to see. What I'm going to do for this now and catch that on the next video is I'm going to tie the trace or the actual dangle that I prefer using with this specific trace. Okay, that, uh, that when I'm targeting especially cob, grey sharks, small hammers, um, any flatfish will take it as well. It's a, a really nice, um, uh, it's a very buoyant yet nice dangle that can get you a lot of bites, a lot of movement in the water, and that's what you want for hammers, grey sharks, cob, all those species. So catch the next video, and thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to like the video, please, and uh, push the little bell button to get notifications of every video we upload.